it was a glorious celebration of the victorious exit of the Right Reverend Dr. Peter Awelewa Debi, the pioneer diocesan bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, who slept in the Lord on Thursday, 10th February 2022, at the age of 79 years. Bishop Adebi was a charming man of God, an intellectual personality, a likable and handsome man who dedicated his whole life to serving God and touching lives in several inspiring ways. The barrier program was a week-long celebration organized by the Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion and the Ekiti Anglican Diocese to celebrate the life and times of the departed bishop. The program started with a chain of service of songs by various organizations in the Diocese of Lagos West. Sunday, 24th April, the doors to the Haven Event Center behind the Archbishop Vining Church at Oba Kijobiwe, GRE Kenja, Lagos were thrown open to the mothers and women organizations in the Diocese of Lagos West for a service of songs led by the Diocese, the Right Reverend Dr. James Olusho Laodedeji and his wife, Dr. Mrs. Lydia Odediji. The beautifully decorated hall was filled to capacity with dignitaries from far and near, bishops from Nigeria and the United States. The Most Reverend Dr. Ulushegun Adeyemi, retired bishop of Kwara Diocese, the Right Reverend Ezekiel Downsi, retired bishop of Idoani, the Right Reverend Amos Fagbamiye, retired bishop of the Anglican Diocese of the Trinity, and many other bishops, the priests, the diocesan congregation, family, friends and well-wishers from all across the globe. After the welcome address by the diocesan of the Lagos West Diocese, there were a series of hymn renditions for the service. of the day, the Most Reverend Dr. Ulushegun Adeyemi, former Bishop of Kwara Diocese, extolled late Bishop Adebi's virtues. He described him as a true man of God. And if you are going to choose Baba Adebi as an example forever and ever, he was my archdeacon from 1987 to 1993. He was the first, first, he was the first person to bring me to Viney to come and give lecture at even Sunday. And one day he came to Ikeja for something else. I was in the consulting room and he saw a woman with twins. He, oh no, man, who is no one He will borrow money to give to people. That's the man. That's the man. And 
if it's forever in our hearts, and the Bible says, sees the outcome of their life, I can tell you, he did not die a poor man. God. The last eight years of his life was rough. But we thank God that he did not lose his faith. He did not lose his testimony. He did not lose his belief. Through the entire time, he looked forward for a day of salvation. He believed in God that could heal him. And if the Lord will not perfect that, he believed in heaven. Every day he wake up expecting that Jesus will come take him. So I thank God for a man. Looking for admission at home, I have only even said there is no more space. I ran to Baba. Baba, help me. Oh. My daughter wants admission there. Ah, he took the phone. He said, I find you. Don't you know your engine at the day? Our choir. Ah, you have to look for a place for the daughter. Ah. And the man said, Yes, no problem. No problem. And he said, They should go. The funniest thing is that. When we are about to go, my brother's wife said, Daddy, you taught me at last. So, hey, hey, hey. Ah, that's good. And he took money from his purse and gave it to my daughter. The person I'm supposed to give money to. Now, giving money to my daughter. Secondly, when my son was doing wedding, Baba wrote checks for me. When I'm supposed to appreciate him for officiating during my son's wedding. That's to show his generosity. And to show how this man is very appreciative. Anytime I give Baba cover when he was on the seat bed, he will send a message to me that, ah, I did not hear it. Thank you. He will always send a message to me. On the sick bed, he still appreciates me. Well, it only paid me that the last December, I wasn't in time, in time to see him. The retired Bishop of Kuala and Archbishop of Kuala Province, who has just ministered to us and Mama, the most reverend doctor and Mrs. Shegun Adeyemi. Please put your hands together for him and Mama. Thank you very much, Ma and Sir, for identifying with us. Also, the retired Bishop of the Cathedral of Trinity. Indianapolis, USA, our father, the Right Reverend Amasishaye Fatba Miye. Please put your hands together for Papa and Mama. Thank you very much, all the way from USA for this purpose. We also have in our midst the retired Bishop of Idoani, the Right Reverend and Mrs. Bolani De Daunsi. Please put your hands together for him and Mama. We have also here today uh, Papa and Mama. Mama is here. I believe Papa will soon join us. The Right Reverend and Dr. Mrs. Ola Uluwa Akinla Lu, the retired Bishop of Okiosho. Mama, thank you very much for being here. We have also in our midst today the retired bishop of, I will call it Maryland, because he's the sovereign bishop of Cathedral of Trinity and a very loving father of faith and mama, the right reverend Dr. and Mrs. Dokun Adewumi. Please put your hands together for this couple. Fantastic at all times. We'll appreciate your presence. We want to welcome also Mama Rebecca Haihum, who she has graciously be here as she gone. Put your hands together for Mama. Thank you very much for joining us here. I appreciate our distinguished administrators. They are here, they are all here. The other clergy will join us from tomorrow. After series of songs and prayers, and of course the vote of thanks, all were set for the day two of the program, a service of songs by the youth organizations in the diocese. Monday, 25th April, at the Vining Hall of the Archbishop Vining Memorial Church Cathedral, youth organizations took turns to present various beautiful renditions.
speech of the day, the Right Reverend Ezekiel Dancy, the former Bishop of Idwani, spoke on the exemplary life of Baba Debiyi. He encouraged the youth to serve the Lord diligently. His strength, his time, his energy, everything in him, he put it into the ministry. And as this was, he was going on in the, in the, in the work, he was bringing people along in the left and the right, to so coming up. And that's what I said the other time. Let me say that when you hear me preach, I learned so much from him, especially to be fearless. But that was never rude to anybody. But he will speak the truth. It doesn't matter who was around listening to his son. After the various presentations, it was time for the vote of thanks and closing remarks by the Lord Bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West, the Right Reverend Dr. James Olushola Odetiji. The preacher of the day, the Right the Reverend Ezekiel Damsi, the former Bishop of Iwan, spoke an exemplary life of Abadi Bigi. Yes, they were to serve the Lord diligently. All of them grew through Baba Adibi. Baba Dukumu walked with him in this cathedral. He was a reverend there before he traveled abroad. Baba Fukabi was his canon later anointed him before he was elected bishop. Bishop Ali Emi preached yesterday, the retired Archbishop of Kwara, who was Papa's first thing in this cathedral. Papa Dawsi has said it all. Papa started with Papa Dibi at all, as a youth chaplain. After the various the presentations, it was time for the vote of thanks and closing remarks by the Lord Bishop of the of Lagos West, chaplain. the Right Reverend Dr. James Oshola, the teacher. Somebody who had to carry the sauce. Somebody who had to go in park. Oh, you go by me, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm standing before you today as your bishop. That is Baba Adibi for you. Tuesday, 26th April 2022, a day for the general service of songs and night of tributes by all the adjectives and churches in the diocese of Lagos West. It was held at the Haven Event Hall behind the AVMCC. The astonishing deck of the hall created a wonderful royal ambience. The gorgeous large photo banners of Bishop Adebiyi the beautiful momentous lighting in various sizes and shapes, the candlelights, and of course, the array of floral displays all complemented the beautifully dressed congregations seated for the service. The Adibi years. Bishops, dignitaries, clergies and wives, Choristers and all present sang various hymns to celebrate Baba Debi's victorious exit. The day's exhortation was delivered by the primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, His Eminence, the Most Reverend Henry Ndukuba, who spoke on the importance of serving the Lord wholeheartedly. Various presentations were also in display, most especially a documentary on the life and times of Bishop Adibiyi. The program later came to a close after the vote of thanks by one of the Adibiyis and the closing remark from the host Dao season, Bishop Ulushola Odebechi. Wednesday, 27th April 2022, the day opened with a line in state 
of late Bishop Peter Awelewa Lebi at the Vining Hall for about two hours for family, friends, and well wishers in Lagos to catch a glimpse before bidding him farewell for his last trip to his hometown in Usiekiti for the funeral service and interment. After the line in state, his body was then moved into the Archbishop Vining Memorial Church Cathedral Auditorium for the very last time by the dancing Paul Bearers. The commendation service started with accepting the body into the church by the Right Reverend Dr. James Unusholao Dediji, Bishop of the Houses of Lagos West and the League of Bishops in attendance. The of inheritance in the kingdom, so that we may not be overcome by the world, or miss our fellowship with you in heaven, but keep our faith constant in your son. Who is the resurrection and life? Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For today's end, Christ both died and rose that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Let not your heart be troubled. The service had in attendance over 30 bishops from across the nation and the diaspora, part of which were primates of the Anglican Communion, Church of Nigeria, the Most Reverend Henry Ndukuba, the former bishop of the Diocese of Lagos, the Most Reverend Ephraim Ademowo, and several other bishops, priests, various dignitaries, captain of industries, family, friends, well wishers, and of course, congregants of the Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion. Preach of the day, the primates of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Undukuba, extolled the virtues of late Bishop Adipi. We thank God because this is a celebration of life, a noble life lived in God's service, an evidence of the grace of God, and that which impacted many people and helped many to find purpose for living. A good number of us bishops and priests, especially those of us that are here, have been in one way or the other impacted and imparted by this servant of God. He lived an accomplished life and indeed fought a good fight, kept the faith, and ran the full course of the race. And he ended well and strong. 
Amen. A family where the fire burns on the altar of the family altar. You will always see it in the lives of the children. I took one thing out yesterday. When the family came out, when the children, sons and daughters, daughters in, daughters in law and others came out, you, those of us that were there yesterday could see how they sang. And when they were singing, I remember my own family. And I remember my own immediate family. I said, this is a family where the fire burns on the altar of the family. The commendation service came to a close after a series of activities.
then all roads led to Kusi Ekiti in the Kiti State, Southwest Nigeria, for the final lap of the barrier program. Thursday, 28th April 2022, Bishop Adebiji's body was laid in state at his residence for all to pay their last respect. After this, there was a week keep service at St. Paul's Anglican Church, Usiekiti. Friday, 29th April 2022, the church, St. Peter's Anglican Church, Usiekiti, could not occupy other troops in to bid Bishop Adebiyi farewell. People defied the day's downpour to partake in the funeral service. The service was graced by several bishops, priests, dignitaries, and people from Nigeria and the diaspora. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. They shall hunger no more, neither test any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. Whatever we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For this, for to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. It were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. That my redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the later day upon the earth, and though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and not as a stranger. <laughs>
A voice says, call out. Then he answered, what should I call out? All flesh is what? Grass. And all its loveliness is what? Like the flower of the field. The grass withers. The flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are what? Grass. Ask somebody beside you. Who are you? Hmm. I am, I am, I am, Amy, Amy, Olu Bayejet, Abibeko. Who are you? After the service was the internet. that we are at dust. The days of man are like rust. For it flourishes as a plant of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone. And the place thereafter, and I know it no more. But, the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever upon them that fear Him and His righteousness. Right, from henceforth, 
blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Even so said the Spirit for the rest of the demons. The Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. The Lord's prayer. We believe verily to see the goodness of the Lord. The land of the living. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cries come unto you. O oh Father of all, we pray to thee for your servant Peter, Awilewa Nibi, whom we love but see no longer. Grant him thy peace. Let thy perpetual shine upon him, and in thy loving wisdom and everlasting power, walk in him the good purpose of thy perfect will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Heavenly Father, who in thy Son, Jesus Christ, has given us a true faith and a sure hope, help us, we pray thee, to live as those who believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of life everlasting and strengthen this faith and hope in us all the days of our life through the love of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Servant of God, Peter Awilewa Adibi, go forth upon your journey from this world, O Christian soul. In the name of God the Father who created you, in the name of Jesus Christ, who suffered for you and called you to his service. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit, who strengthened you. Amen. In communion with the blessed saints and angels, by the archangels, and all the armies of the heavenly host, may your portion this day be in peace, Amen. and your abode in holy Zion. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will walking in you that which is pleasing in his sight, to whom be glory forever, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon us now and evermore. Amen. After the service was the interment, guests were treated to a well-organized reception. Sunday 1st May 2022, 
there was a thanksgiving and outing service at St. Paul's Anglican Church, Usiekiti. The late Bishop Peter Awelewa Adebi was born on the 27th of April, 1943, at Usiekiti. He was the pioneer bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion. He was survived by children, grandchildren, brothers, sisters, in-laws, and lots more. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you for how you brought us up for those sound teaching, discipline, and Christian background that you give unto me and my siblings. This has really helped us. It has shaped our lives. It has made me what my I name is Taderonke. To everyone that came all the way, the first for the very of the city, are not the one. I was never in Lagos. Yes, thank, thank you, my God. I can appreciate Thank you. My name is Adida Yadibi. Well, you brought us up. Uh, I am uh, Abba's uh, third child. Um, Christian background. My father was a very precious person to me, and he's, he is still a very precious person to me. Uh, he tried in his lifetime to do what is best for everyone and by everyone. He loved his community, he loved the people of God, above all, he loved and served God with all his might. He did everything within his power to serve God and to propagate the gospel. I will miss his very, very jovial nature, I will miss his wise counseling, and I will miss his constant prayers. Uh, but I know that uh, he's in a better place and that we will meet again at the resurrection morning. I also want to thank every single person who has been part of this funeral. My name is Tunja Debi. One of the things I can remember about my dad is, is the faith that he left as a legacy for us to follow. The, in terms of his Christian lifestyle, he was not in any way mixing things together. He practiced his faith genuinely, and that is what we found in him as children. There was no skeleton in his cupboard while he was here on with us. He was not saying something inappropriate and doing something else at home. We were able to actually see that in him, and that's one of the things he passed on to us. My name is uh, Hulu Afisaya Adebe. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm one of the sons of uh, Baba Peter Awelewa Adebe. It's been a great memory that we've shared of him this week. It's been uh, to see a man that has started from almost nothing, rising to the peak of his career and the peak of his membership in the society. It's been something that uh, is difficult for us to ever forget. We thank God for the legacy of faith we have that has been shared over and over. If there's anything we've inherited from this man of God, is the inheritance of Jesus as our personal Lord, not as a family thing, but as personal, knowing Jesus for ourselves. And uh, we are grateful for all the people God has blessed us with. We thank God for all the bishops, the archbishops, the primate. We thank God for friends, families, families and loved ones. <laughs> a daughter to Bishop Peter Walewa Adebi. I want to thank God for his life. He lived a very good life, a life of purity, a life of example to all his children and everyone around him. He was passionate about the ministry and about his family. I want to thank God because today we are celebrating him and we're giving God all the glory for that which he was able to do while he was alive. My name is Femi Fatili, one of the Baba's 
son-in-law. Uh, we praise God for the way Baba related with us. Baba took, Baba took us as his own children. And uh, Baba was a great challenge to all of us. Not only that it was a challenge on how to live and how to relate with people, how to treat people with respect and reference. We also saw him as a living and worthy example of communicating very, very well uh, all that he has taught us as his children. Uh, everybody has spoken beautiful of him, of how he had impacted their lives, how he had been very, very generous to them, how he has been wonderful, uh, how they have felt blessed having a relationship with him. But I want to say that the children are most blessed because everything that people were saying about him outside there, Baba triples that in his relationship in his communication and in the way he led the family. Funke Adebi, um, Reverend Canon Adebi, uh, Tsunji Adebi, his wife. Uh, grandpa calls me a funky baby. My father-in-law has a very good sense of humor, as I would say. He always makes uh, people laugh. He's always very happy. But they, Daramola, my best son-in-law, we give thanks to the Almighty God for all that has happened throughout this funeral program. It is only a testimony to Proverbs chapter 10 verse 7 which says, the memory of the righteous is blessed. I sincerely want to appreciate everyone that has contributed immensely to the success of this program. My name is Omaumi Adebi. Something about Baba Adebi. He calls me Omaumi, my daughter. I loved Baba because Baba was always ready to share ex his life experiences, what he needed me to do, and I was able to follow them through. And I would really miss Baba because he was just so dear to me. He was very, very dear to me. My name is Okoyemi Aile, and I am Papa's father. I'm married to Papa's last born, uh, Muluwatu Sil um, Aile. Um, it's quite um, difficult really to find the words. I always struggle to find the right words to say about daddy. But I just ask myself a question, what makes a person great? And I think one of the things that makes a person a great man is their ability to get people to respond in love to them. And I think one of the greatest things I can say about daddy is that he was loved not only by his children, but actually by, by every single one of his indoors. I think every single one of us have looked at daddy and mommy really as our parents and that's because of the genuine love that they showed to us. Despite all the great success and authority and influence that they had, they really were to us just father and mother. Daddy used to call me Okwete Miniko. He looked at me and he looked after me like his very own and I just love daddy so much. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been part of this whole thing that we have done. It's been a wonderful celebration. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for all your support. We love you and appreciate you very much. God bless you. Dele Bishop Peter Awelewa Adebi was born on the 27th of April, 1943 at Osiekiti. He was the pioneer bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West Anglican Communion. He was survived by children, grandchildren, brothers, sisters, in-laws and lots more. May his gentle soul Rest in perfect peace.